from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Wheel Economy Report. Students who are looking to start careers in vehicle production at the AIDC's Gauteng Automotive Learning Centre will be able to benefit from its new augmented reality welding program. Simon Senekas tells us more. Eight brand new Soldomatic welding simulators which provide up to 93 different simulated welding lessons have been introduced at the Gauteng Automotive Learning Centre in Rossland, Pretoria. The simulators, which enable the centre to cut several costs involved in practical welding training, work with two front-facing cameras and a replicated welding rod. Gauteng Automotive Learning Centre Operations Manager Natalie Nelson notes that the program has been globally utilised to meet industry-specific skills requirements. What we've introduced is a simulated welding program. So we've looked at saying, instead of sending a learner straight in from the classroom back into the practical area, we've purchased welding simulators. And these are used, globally utilized, for students to actually go in and then apply the technical skills that they've learned in the classroom as well as then in the practical area to ensure that they actually are meeting the requirements for welding specifically. This automatic system allows a cut on consumable costs as there is no need to supply welding rods, steel plates, oxygen or any protective clothing as all these variables are now controlled by the user interface. The system also simplifies the teaching process by displaying the progress of the trainee on the screen, allowing the teacher and other trainees to observe the technique and proper procedure. Technical training facilitator at the Learning Center, Herman Patrick, showed engineering news how the simulator's welding helmet can provide an accurate welding atmosphere, which includes smoke, sparks and heat. Patrick says that up to 18 students can observe as the trainer demonstrates theoretical aspects on a teaching screen using an overhead projector. He notes that for rectification purposes, the trainer can interchange views between simulators to highlight similarities or discrepancies in the individual's welding exercises. Nelson adds that the first of its kind program has been phenomenally received by the industry and that the center is currently looking into expanding augmented reality simulators by acquiring a spray painting simulator. We focus on the trial and error model, saying the students can come in and learn how to actually weld using the welding simulators before we send them into the practical area. From our side also, we save costs, so consumable costs are considerably lower as well. And how has the program been received by the industry? Phenomenally well. We do regular tours of the site and of the facility for tier suppliers, for OEMs, and then the industry at large. They come in and have a look at what we're doing, and they are bowled over by what we will be offering in the facility. Not only do we offer the welding, but we offer specializations in other areas like autotronics, mechatronics. So it is the first of its kind, and it's been received very well.